every part of the living soul attacked by wickednesses. As consideration is applied from the provisions of the word of the Lord Jesus, we can see that all components of the soul of a person, heart, mind, spirit, and body, have been attacked, often with subtlety, by carnal, fleshly weaknesses. Fleshly weaknesses are those weaknesses which, according to the Word of God, are considered to be the thoughts, imaginations, and overt actions of unrighteousness. Unrighteousness being that which, in essence, spells and guarantees a great loss for those apparently enjoying the state of unrighteousness and a loss for those in some way related to those covetously overcome and often deceptively pleased to remain even at times uncomfortably in such an unlawful and disobedient life-destroying state. 1 Corinthians 6, 9 Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Galatians 5, 21 Envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Revelation twenty-one twenty-seven, And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination, or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Revelation twenty-two, fifteen. For without are dogs, and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loveth, and maketh a lie. Weaknesses of an individual which result from simply being a weak carnal flesh, seeing, hearing, thinking, contemplating, genetically endowed with the carnal nature and spirit of weakness, resulting from falling for an enemy's willful, scheming, falsehood, and crafty deceit. Fleshly defeating weaknesses of a person inevitably become recognized by the regrettable bad choice relationship actions of self and actions of others. Whenever there is any function involving interaction between people or even contemplating interaction carnal fleshly weaknesses will usually show up, appearing in some undesirable discord-producing way. There are those too frequent, God-forgetting, ignoring, rejecting, God-dishonoring displays by disobedient, lawless behaviors, which we daily, as living genetically, weakened souls throughout our lives are burdensomely weighted with. In body, heart, mind, and spirit, we are living confronted with and too often under the burden of guiltiness are found on our own, unnecessarily struggling with fleshly weaknesses. We constantly have reports, often by gossip itself, a carnal, fleshly weakness, 
of other Christians being overtaken by the overt practice of some fleshly lust, and may even our own selves as Christians be actively involved in some shameful behavior which we, deceiving ourselves, may even ignorantly spend and waste our precious lifetime moments attempting to deny, hide, excuse, or justify. As we consider the outcome of fleshly weaknesses, we have to admit that being overcome and giving in to weaknesses of the carnal flesh does affect our body, mind, heart, and spirit. We must admit, if one part of us is affected, our total soul is indeed affected. Bowing and giving in to carnal fleshly lust does have an overall costly, negative, time-stealing effect from our relationship with the Lord Jesus, our Father God, and from those that are closest to us as we daily live our lives. Fleshly weaknesses definitely have a negative effect upon our having successful relationships with our fellow man, sadly and especially with those we are close to, our nearest of kin. There are too often reports of abuse and negligence of spouses, parents, and children in Christian families. Families that claim to believe in and are devoted to serving the Lord Jesus are undoubtedly affected by carnal fleshly weaknesses of body, mind, heart, and spirit in spite of their effort to make a better appearance, it is no doubt that from the word of God, we have been made aware that family distress and sorrow producing actions of family members have happened in every family that was mentioned in the Bible, even in the families that we are able to identify the Lord's blessings, struggled with the mortal, corruptible flesh because weaknesses of the flesh affecting everyone was and is a reality. From the beginning of man being placed here on the earth and sin's entrance by one man gave the result of all men on earth being overtaken by carnal fleshly weaknesses. Man's fleshly weaknesses is that which has been revealed and unfortunately has brought sorrow of some type to every family on the earth. All areas that are given for us to consider in the Bible involve the persistent lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Some of the unfortunate, influential, heart-rending, family-related events are mentioned below. Lust of the eyes, flesh, pride of life, influence, and disobedience. Genesis 3, 6. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her and he did eat.